as the rotisserie turns with Dre's Place Barbecue. These are the days of our lives. We at the Ohio State Fair and this is day two. Come on in, let's see what happens. Dre's Place Barbecue. It's day two at the Ohio State Fair. Pat's got the helm this morning. Let's see what happens. Give me one of them tubs, baby. One of them tubs. Great tubs. I got water coming off my trailer from the air conditioner. Oh, I got one, baby. Uh, okay. Is it going all the way under? Oh, is it? Oh, it sure was. I have to keep that under there because that over there be crying. I mean, that's just from simple dude right there. Huh? That's just from dude. There's nothing yeah. you can do about that. They always blame the water on me. Should be in that office selling stuff. I don't care though. Now it's my last day. They already stopped me from selling stuff I need to sell. Hi, baby. How are you? Doing good. Yeah, I'm making it. One uh, more day. I'm going to come down and make some. Okay, babe. Okay. Uh huh. Been a sweetheart to me all this fair. Yeah. That baby right there. Yeah. Come down by my foot. He's such a pleasant little baby. He's gonna be young. He said, just fighting up. Your day gonna be okay. It's He's like such cool a pleasant. Breeze. He was such a pleasant little positive little kid. I swear I hear a band. Do you hear a band playing? Yeah, they over there practicing. Oh, they over there. They right over there at the what's the name now? I got them yesterday. Barbecue as a rotation turns. Her name is Ms. Horn. What do you do for Cox Communications? It's uh, Cox Concessions, Cox and Concessions. I book off the food vendors for different events. So you are the food vendor coordinator. Yes. Well, she stopped by today because she got the word that Dre's Place Barbecue had the best food going on on the Midwest. She offered us an opportunity to come to a function in September, Labor Day weekend. Thank you very much for inviting us. And what we're gonna do is I just wanted to put that out there for America. America, you see how you grow, it ain't what you know, it's who you know. It's how good of a job that you do. Ordinary to get invited to places. To get invited in the Cox is an awesome situation because they just don't invite anybody. And we appreciate you inviting us. And I want you to know that humbly and thank you. And I'm gonna try to come and work this out with me. You can work this out together. We'll make it happen in Trey's Place Barbecue. We'll show up and we'll show out for you. We'll be happy to happy to have us. Thank you for inviting us. Cut. I'd rather just do a restaurant than do this. They both are though, but you know, restaurant, at least it could be in my bed every night. <laughs> and not in hotel beds. Nowhere to park in the morning. Two or three dollars. She noticed that three wasn't up there, so we had to charge her two dollars. Don't nobody pay attention to that. Right. Some people pay attention to stuff. Some people don't. That lay on out of all these thousands of people, one lady did. I'm sure she had tight wise to say that dollar. Mm -hmm. Come to the fair and be yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was like, That's what it's all about, spending money. Yeah. Let's try and see. That lady was like, uh, I'm trying to see. She was like, I'm 
say even that dollar, because I, she said, I don't see no three up there. She know that had to be a three. The zeros was there, but the three was gone. She said, there's not a three up there. She was a cynical one. Thing. She know them pops wasn't no two dollars, them all, them all. Bottle pops. Uh, Pepsi make you buy them. That's the only way Andre got his, uh, bring his two barrels, because we, we lost them two barrels the last time. So that's how we got them, got them back. Looks good. It's class stack here. Uh, I've had her funnel cakes. Totally nobody else's funnel cakes at this whole fairground tastes like her. It's very unique. Very unique in the way that she makes it. Maybe we'll get her to make one on one of these trips when we see her on the road somewhere. So it's just kind of interesting to get to meet good people, get to meet great young people, and maybe taking and saying this might be my future one day. And so it's always good when you see young people that's interested in doing something of this magnitude and to see how hard it actually is to do it. just want to say that we're going to take a walk with her, with her gummy bears, and we're going to follow you. We're going to do the part for you. Oh, great. And these are our three gummy bears that we deep fry. Wow. We have orange, cherry, and blue raspberry. Mm -hmm. And we uh, skewer them and keep them cold in the fridge and pull them out as needed. Is your sugar content high in your body? Absolutely not. Because <laughs> she's just a so sweetheart. That's high as your barbecue content. I'm sure. <laughs> but that's great. So, guys, she's going to give us a tour and show us how she exactly makes these gummy bears. It's going to be a great experience for you, America. So let's stick around and let's follow her, and we'll let her lead the way. What's wrong? Okay, we batter a gummy bear. We batter a gummy bear. Yep. That's the wrong one, excuse me. Wrong bear? We're going to have to okay. do a different take here. Barbecue as the world turns. Look at that right there. Now take a bite, Dre. Uh, a little more. You do a lot more things. You do a cheesecake. I do a deep fried cheesecake, and I do deep fried cinnamon rolls, dredged in homemade cream cheese drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. Wow, so you have a long list of nothing but sweet. You're awesome. But I promise you, America, this, none of it's as sweet as her. Not any of it is as sweet as her. Does the gummy bear melt? Yeah, it's delicious. It tastes just like a cherry pie. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. <laughs> that is absolutely phenomenal, Mouth. America, when you see her, you make sure you stop by this trailer, the gourmet trailer. Look for the gourmet funnel cake and gummy bear trailers around fairs in America. You have the biggest treat and the best treat that you ever would imagine. We just want to thank you for allowing us to come into your house. Come visit the Goblin Gourmet anytime. Goblin Gourmet! Thank you. Thanks, America. Peace!
Oh, we on that power. I'm sure I had to pay for it. I'm sure I won't use it. <laughs> you know how much right. money we paid for that power? Five thousand dollars. We paid, yeah. We paid a lot of money for it. You already <laughs> know, Daryl. We ain't about to leave it off and be hot in here. We already be hot enough. <laughs> Oh, I ain't, did I didn't tell you when he first the health department people came. And they came to collect that $480, but we surprised him this year. We got one in Mommy Ohio, a license. And the license was like $170, so we saved like three, almost $300. Well, we had, we couldn't get our lemonade card up because they wanted it to be separate, so we had to pay them $700. They wanted $744 for our lemonade card to be up. That's why it's in a tent. That was Ohio. Um, so we got our license, but and then on the back of our license, the lemonade cart and the trailer. But they want them to be together. But when we separated, when we separated, they wanted to charge us seven hundred and almost eight hundred dollars to uh, put the lemonade cart on. We said that's okay. We're not gonna put it up. I said oh, there's a reason why it's not supposed to be up, and it was. We, you know, a lot of people left, but we, we let people go, so that was fine. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then they came the first day just to collect money. They didn't care about the health of the other people in Ohio. They came the first day, which Wednesday, the day we opened, all they collected was money. They didn't want anything else. All they wanted was money. So they collected their money, and they didn't bring health department people back here until Friday. And I don't do normally deal with them. I already deal with them. Because I bought them this little table. Well, I got some, uh, some violations. It was quite a few. Well, nah, they came back the next day. Andre cleared that up because he normally deals with the health department. Why don't you normally yeah, deal with them? Yeah, uh, I bought him a table. I don't deal with them. Excuse me? I bought him a table. I was surprised. I said, how y'all gonna come too? How y'all? It's Saturday morning, and here comes the rain. Well, won't be a whole lot of business. Be plenty of time to talk and rest. Show, I mean, restaurant shows, I watch like Hell's Kitchen, Top Chef. Yeah, yeah Miss Robbie. That's Robbie. Right. I watch Robbie. those kind of shows. Uh, I auditioned for Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. yeah. You did? Oh, yeah. Almost made it. You did? Almost. Almost, huh? Almost. And that blonde headed dude cuss you out. Oh, um. What was the dude's name? Chef Ramsey? Yeah. I, wouldn't, I don't have a problem with it. That's yeah. how my drill sergeants used to talk to me. I hey. You, but you got to think, man, uh, for competitiveness you know, with, with, with chefs and cooks. You got some yeah. bad mother, but guess what? All the top chefs you see in the world, guess what they are? What? Men. Nah. Yeah, they are. They All the All the, there's a lot, but there's a world, lot of female chefs out there. It's there's a female out. chef, but I'm saying, but yeah. it's mighty strange that there's a lot of men. Well, yeah. But, you know, Ramsey, he yells at you. I mean, the man's got 53 Michelin stars. You listen to what he's got to say. That's Pitching Big Mike, right the Michelin one you stars. can't see. Of all the restaurants he owns, he's got a total of 53 Michelin stars. Oh. For the Michelin star guidebook. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got 53 total. Wow. No one has 53 total, only him. Yeah. I ate at his restaurant in New York. Mm. It was worth it. <laughs> it's expensive, but it was worth that it. That recording? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here too? yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, oh. I was recording him earlier. Oh. Yeah, Mike, I was doing this. <laughs> yeah, I, ain't, I ain't up on technology, man. I'm outdated. <laughs> Here we have Mike who does nothing. But I'm going to come up to Pop. It's time for Pat to pay the fare their percentage, which is not going to be a fun task. Want to go recording her behind there. the office? Paying your 15%, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which arm are you giving them today, Miss Pete? <laughs> well, they really got my whole damn body by now. There ain't nothing left. Arm. I'm working on y'all bodies now. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I need my body. Need my body. <laughs> I'm working on y'all bodies now. I'm calling shenanigans. I'll be back. Right. Mike, I'll be back. Then we're walking over here at Ohio State Fair to pay this 12% we have to pay every day for 12 days. They give you a release form on your last day to make sure you paid that money. It's a form that you have to have on your window to get out of this gate. Right. It's called a release form. That means you can release yourself from out of this fair, and I'm going to be a happy camper when it's over with. Right. So we're going over in the office and pay them this money like I do every day already anyway. Some people pay, you gotta, long, you gotta pay before two o'clock in the afternoon. I might well go ahead and get it over with. 
Get busy, don't have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Get it over with now. Pretty plants out here. See them plants? Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't they real? Isn't they beautiful? Yeah. But I'm sure this is our money. I like to take one of them big plants home and put them in my yard. I'm sure this is all the money we pay Ohio State Fair, though. That's why they got these big, beautiful plants. That's good right there. My brother's trying to get T-Mobile service. That's the worst service I don't know. I don't it know. is. It don't work. I say. I remember Andre's on the phone like three hours. No, he, he walked me down through there. Don't walk down through there? Yeah. Did you grab your camera with you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, OK. And that uh, trolley thing that people ride on ski lift, that thing's fancy. Oh, yeah. Right up here. They get, they get a chance to see the whole park up there. That thing goes like they're a mile on, or two. They're on the lift up there. They get yeah. a chance to see the whole park. They have some kind of vent over here. I don't know what it is. But it looks like they're giving away something over there. Oh, that's Ohio Lottery. Ohio Lottery's going to be live. Oh, they, they fixed to give away their millions. Yeah. You know, I got to get in on that there. Once they get ready, they give you, you do a little spin thing. Yeah. And then, you know, you win like that. Do that little spin thing. You know, I gotta get off on that there. They're gonna be setting it up right here. There's a lot of you know where it's at by the candy stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, Andre went yesterday. Yeah. Hello guys, what y'all think of the fair? Y'all might be on camera. Uh -huh. Oh, what y'all think of the fair? Uh -huh. It's great so great. far. So far, we yeah, just yeah, we just got here. Just got here? Yep. Okay. It's your first day here? Yep. Oh, okay. We just filming. We just filming this little thing. It's going to be on YouTube. Do you oh, go on YouTube? It's Dre's Place Barbecue. Right. Yeah. Dre's Place Barbecue. Okay. Yeah, I never really went down this way here. I don't know what's really down on that end. Oh, I don't know. It's a whole other section really down there, isn't it? That's the office there where they pay all the big bucks at over there. That's where you buy them on that six hundred dollar ticket. I told you I got the people come in, they fifty dollar ticket. That's there. Okay. You excuse. Get in line fast here. Oh, event production. He's got a lot, yeah. He's got a lot. Of Probably more than that, because they got more than one trainer. I know the lady across from her, she have three. She have to do each one. But you can't combine them together. That's where you buy them on that six hundred dollar ticket. I told you I got for people coming in. They fifty dollar ticket. That's there. You excuse me. Everybody, they need a thing here. Get in line fast here.
I can meet you at my cotton candy or well over wherever's convenient for you. I got a card. Okay. Be there in about 10 minutes. Thanks, Chris. Finally got to hear the fight song. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. Now, uh, on Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, you will. But now, you probably see me tomorrow. We all got to work tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, is it done with Saturday and Sunday? Is Sunday? How is Sunday done? I can't remember. Okay. 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 I got you. Okay. Okay. I got it. I couldn't remember from last year. Ah, no. Ohio, uh, Ohio. Okay, got my money. That's how it worked. They uh, we ended up paying on Sunday night after we finished up Sunday. We went. I came in the office and paid them for Sunday. Go around this way, sister. Go ahead and get it knocked out. So you have to come back on Monday. Right. No. We yeah. Monday. We out of here. We gonna be out of here Sunday. Andre takes his car over to the hotel. We parks it behind the. You know where, where the, oh, the trailer? Yeah, the trailer goes to the, to the, and we park it. You know where the car sit on that right side when we me and you came out of the door today? Mm -hmm. We go around and park on the top up there. Oh, okay. Because our trailer won't fit in that parking lot. Of course, you already know it that. Ain't, ain't nowhere to them. park already. I can't hardly put my pickup in there. I know. <laughs> and there's nowhere to park anyway. So they got a band and stuff today, I guess, over there today. They got the whole lottery going on over there today. They're doing a lot of guests over there today. Mm -hmm. We got the whole lot of lottery going on over there today. They're doing a lot of work. Yep, the fix, two picks. We got the lottery going on over there. This is the office where you pay all the big bucks at. That's the one that, that keep a police in there, so much money in there. Yeah, that's the big office right there. They probably closed down today. They probably ain't work on Saturday. Be a nice day, but no. Yeah. We don't like to say that R word. Nope. It's cool today. Huh? It's cooler. Yeah. It's a nice day for being at the fair because it's kind of cool, you know? So it's a nice day. Being at the fair. I like seeing them and they right up in the front. I'm sure the state, that's owned by the, uh, by the, by the, uh, they there every year. For the fairground? Same people. It's probably some of cops stuff, no telling. I just don't know which else. This is more of the kitty land over here for the kids. A lot of people ask us why we where we at. Well, I think it's a good spot because the mothers be over here with the kids and they, they smell that barbecue. That thing's huge, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going down. No. It ain't for me. They ain't got to worry about me going down. Yeah, I must go to give away tea here today. Defenders. These vendors work through the midway. 
Yeah. How about it, guys? So Three dollars each in. Who's going to be next to win? Come so on in. We're going to do it all over again. Water gun racing. Squirt gun chasing over here. Guaranteed winner. Out on the black and got on the black shirts. They work for the midway people. I mean, the people that own these things, the vendors that own this, have to pay the midway people. They don't pay the fair. Oh, okay. You know how I went in there and paid that? They don't have this. They don't have it. Because they work, they pay their money through the midway. Midway. Which is, uh, who the people that own? Oh, A. That's A. Amusement. Amus Amusements of America is the one that they pay their money to. Okay. So they own all, like, all this down through the midway, all this fair Right, the midway, the rides over there, mm -hmm. these people over here pay them. They don't go through the state and pay like we pay the Columbus. Okay. They don't have to pay them. trying to do, see if you're gonna make it. That, it's gonna be on YouTube. They're gonna say he don't even know how to shoot. Right, what people are working today? Ah, yeah, why you even working it? I think she made a shot for you, then. She's shooting regular, I'm just shooting trick shots. Oh, okay. I thought she was gonna shoot. really appreciate what a, what, what a hard work that I do. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I have the luxury of doing you certain stuff. Can you come on through here with that? I uh, want to see people what I'm doing with my stuff. So can you come around here? No, I was going to take it around there. Yeah. You missed this, though. You could have went through the cut, though. But I, you got to, I got to go over them boards right there. Oh. Let's go right here. Oh, this going inside? I know it. Did you ever make it in here? Yeah, I'm going to ah. get there. I had to do my introduction ah. with the camera. See? See? <laughs> <laughs> and the truth comes out. <laughs> I don't do nothing unless the camera's rolling on. Uh, ah. I have a drink. Where did it go? <laughs> oh, no, I don't need me in there. Working that grill. He's working that grill. He is. Yeah, Mason ought to work that grill. This is what Mason do for a profession, though. That's what he does. He cooks. But I could have got a better person when I got him. Nope. There you go. Got it going on Ooh. now. I know. Put your glasses at. Sunglasses. Right here. I didn't put that on. I've been just chopping. When you fill them you with already that nervous grill. when I chop with my hand there and I had these on. You would have been scared. <laughs> I know. Dre's Place Barbecue at the Ohio State Fair. Having a great time? Man, looks like rain's on the horizon. Well, we got all our stuff ready to go. Let's see what happens. Yep, there it is. Pouring down rain. Pouring down rain, still got a customer. You could have got it, you're right there. That's Mason's question. Is that it, ma'am? The Brisket Man. I ain't the Brisket Man. Remember, you the man. Remember all that stuff you were talking about? You the man. Yeah, that's good. It's 15, sweetie. Man, can I have 15? Well, 
Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's about midday. Dre's supposed to come in in a couple hours. But right now, it's pouring rain. And people love the fair so much, they don't want to leave. Don't worry, none of them's left. They're just waiting under the barns and under the overhangs. As soon as the rain's over, they'll be right back out. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dre's Place at the Ohio State Fair. No, we don't have the mustard base come out of the western end. We on the eastern end. That comes out of Charlotte, go that, that side. Yeah. It's good at 10. Yeah, that's You recording me tasting your ribs? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. See, we're getting, we're getting an honest answer right here. Yeah, we do We do reality shows, though. We do the, um, you go on YouTube and look at our a lot of shows we've done. Dre's Place. Dre's Place Barbecue. Yeah, you want to see, see what you think about it. It's delicious. It's tender. You said it's delicious and it's tender. Red sauce is up there, man. It's a sauce on it, the vinegar, man. But a lot of people put the red sauce on it. Bring the vinegar down a little bit. The dark but red, not, the light you know, red, just hot sauce. On the north side, they're not used to the vinegar base, so you put the red sauce on it, tones that vinegar down. And it's tones by the bone. Is there bone in? Yeah, we do. We have bone in. Bone in, ma'am. We had the a spare price? ribs. The uh, um, yeah, some menus up here. The rib sandwich is, is thirteen. The ribbon. Rib platter is 15 oh. and a ribbon fry is 12. No, that's